There you go. Hey, crow's friend. Yeah. Actually, I wonder if Crow knew the people were here because he was getting stuff made for his, uh, night. Huh. Wahoo, full speed ahead. Look at how I took that corner. Look at how I took that corner. This is the best. Uh, hmm, remote controlled cars. Given the size and power, I wouldn't be surprised if Type 4 pressure, uh, they use Type, if they use Type 4 pressure regulators. Hmm, well, I can't hurt to ask. Excuse me. Hmm, what's up? You want to play with the cards, too? Uh, no, not exactly. It explains. Type 4 pressure regulator, huh? Those are pretty rare, you know. We've got a good eye. We do use them in these cars. We've even got a few spares. You can take one if you want. They're so rare that we just give them away. Really? Thank you so much. No problem at all. Just give me a minute. Alright, here you go. Just be careful with it, okay? We're being super generous. But these things are seriously tough to find. Yeah, we really appreciate this. Don't mention it. Always happy to help. Just stop by and play with these cars with us sometime, okay? Okay. <laughs> we really owe these guys for giving us something so rare. Yeah, we can't let this go to waste. And can I play with the cars? I want to play with the cars. I, no, I, ah, I want to play with the cars. Hmm, there you are. Oh, there's, yeah. I think we should ask him if he knows where we can get the special alloy sheet. We might as well try, right? Excuse me. Hey, uh, you need something? They explained. I get you now. Well, you're in luck. We got more of them than we know what to do with. I think I actually remember anyone off to Elisa's dad way back when. Really? That's right. Yeah, I believe it took me until now just to realize why I'm so happy about the damn thing. <laughs> when he was using it to make a present for his wife, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, he always get uh, he always used to get so excited when making something new. I was like a child. <laughs> you got that right. Anyway, we've got a ton of fragments. Just like the one I gave him in here. Just head on in and ask around the station. To, uh, just to whoever's on duty that I sent you, I'll give you exactly what you need. Thanks so much. Now we'll head in there right away. No problem. Good luck finding that watch. Hmm. This is simpler than I thought it would be. Excuse me, do you have a minute? Explains. Really? It doesn't have to be very big. Yeah, I've got plenty of those left over. Just hold on a second, I'll go get you one. Thank you so much. And here you go. Special alloy sheet. Wow, at least then. Kinda springy, too. To be surprised just how tough it is. You need the special equipment to cut through it uh, for processing. Anyway, I don't know what you're gonna use it for, but I hope it works out for you. Thank you again. Okay. Again. A little too easy, almost. Oh, are you working on the truck? Yeah, there we go. Grandfather, can we ask you something? Shoot. Explained. Oh, you're trying to fix that thing up, are you? That's not gonna be easy. Hmm. I think I know what you're looking for, though. You do? Yep, he came to me when he was making the thing originally, you see. He wanted to know if I knew more of a stable material that, uh, uh, than what's usually used in an oscillator. A more stable material? I take it you're not much of a watch expert. The more stable the material, the more precise and accurate the oscillator. Well, stable how? That's the question. I mean, an oscillator would oscillate, obviously. But are you talking about stability through consistent springiness? Like, it's not going to start having material failures that would stop it, from, that would change its material properties and cause the accuracy to offset a little bit over time. I mean, it is a watch, which means it's constantly going over, uh, under the stress of moving parts, which also means that it's going to have a lot of cycles. And the thing about materials is that if you have a lot of cycles on something, then you have fatigue on it. And when the fatigue is put on something, then basically you're going to lower the actual limit for breaks. 
but that also means uh, micro stresses could also form earlier on even if you don't reach that which when you're talking about super accurate watches the more stable the better now I'm not a watch expert I don't even know that what I don't even know that's what he's talking about I don't even know if that's what he's referring to but that's my best guess based on my experience anyway it just so happened that I knew just a thing and that was perhaps the most stable material in this world Sumerian ore Sumerian ore? Do we have any left over? He used that to make an oscillator? How the fuck did he get it? No one knew how to process the stuff at the time, but I'm guessing he just found a small enough piece and used it as is. Hmm. So that was the secret to its accuracy. I can only imagine how much effort he must have gone in order to find even a grain of, a grain of that stuff. And yet Mother just dumps it into Jackass like she doesn't even care. Easy, Elisa. Easy. Anyway, if uh, that's what we're looking for, we should head back to the nonsense. Maybe George will have some we can use. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. And we don't need that much in the first place. So we went back to the nonsense and spoke to uh, George. And what did he have to say? I guess we'll see after the loading screen. And here we are. And what do you got to say? Anyway, that's, what we, uh, that's why we came to you. Ah, I had no idea anyone ever made a pocket watch like that. The idea of a Sumerian ore in one is ingenious, too. I wouldn't mind learning more about it myself. <laughs> so, do you happen to have any high purity Sumerian ore that you could spare? Even the tiniest amount will do. Sure, that's all you need. That won't be a problem at all. Hold on a second, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna find a good piece. Thanks, George. I mean, we got a bunch from the other one. Sure, it's not enough to make a big fucking ass Tai Chi, but enough for a pocket watch oscillator? Probably. So off of the weight, that should do. Beauty's pretty close to 100%, so it should fit your needs perfectly. Cool. So this is what formed the heart of uh, Father's Pocket Watch. Thank you so much, George. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're the ones who brought back the Zemarian Noir here in the first place, so. It's the least that I could do. Alright, it's everything we needed. Now uh, we can head back to Jackasses. Yep, let's go back. She's really fired up about it. Okay, you got all the stuff. You can do it, right? Can you process and stuff? I can get you, um, I can get you hooked up with George if you really can't. Well, look at you. You kids got all the parts we need? You bet. Think you'll be able to fix the pocket watch now? Hand over the parts. All these? Yeah, should be able to, yeah. <laughs> now that I got all the parts. Uh, I figure I'll stick them all together eventually. Hmm. I'm just bugging fun. For why I keep you waiting all that long. Should get started around my second drink of the night. Mm. Ah, fine, stop sounding daggers. Actually, you're still bound in time to get this thing fixed. How about you do it? What, me? Are you sure? Sure, shooting. Hell, it's only right. But if you're not sure you're up to the task, I can take care of it. Oh, no, I want to. At least let me try. <laughs> wow, it really is important to her. <laughs> yeah, of course. Let me process the alloy sheet for you first, though. Bet your tools are still up in his room. Uh, bet you the tools are still up in his room. Give it a look, see, and I'm sure you'll find him. Of course, thank you. So we're going to head up there now? Head back up into, well... The father's tools, I presume. I see where this is going. So let's go here, and let's connect it to the other thing there. So, how's the patient? You think you can fix it? I think Dr. Elisa can guarantee a full recovery. My father taught me everything I know about mechanical engineering. I've got a pretty good idea for how uh, he thinks. His design quirks. All the weird stuff that makes an engineer. <laughs> that makes sense. I presume that's what Jackass was referring to when he said that it was only right uh, that you do it yourself. Yeah, grandfather taught me a lot of things, but my engineering know-how is all for my father. You say I just wasn't his number one daughter, but his number one student too. And from what I've heard, Jackass taught him almost everything he knew. You did seem to be surprisingly tech-savvy, Ryan for name or no. It all makes sense now. Wait, am I? I guess I can see what you mean, though. I probably know about, uh, I probably know more about engineering than Mother does, at the very least. Alright. Oh, got it. Is it fixed now? I think so. I just need to reassemble the frame, disable the circuit breaker, then... 
watches have circuit breakers? Does it need electronics? <laughs> oh, I mean, okay. It seems mechanical, but okay. Oh, it's working. Sweet, it's fixed. Well done, Elisa. <laughs> I could have done it without you guys. Thanks so much for helping with this. Nah, <laughs> you don't need to shed any tears over it. Huh? What's that? Look at music box. Ah, oh, I thought it was just a regular pocket watch. I bet we needed that special alloy uh, sheet to enable to make this sound. I can't believe he managed to make something this complex by hand. He made some pretty amazing stuff, but this... What? A photograph. Hmm. A wedding photo, it seems. Uh, Raina brought it over to me when Ryan for the last went up to the task of fixing it. So she came to me as a last resort. Said if I couldn't fix it, that it wasn't that big of a deal, though. Is she going to be upset by the fact that she said that? Or is she going to think that she still valued it with the picture, even though... Mother! At least knock before you come in. What would you have done if I had a guest in here? I know all about what happened with Father's Pocket Watch. How could be so in how could be so indifferent to it? I saw no reason to keep it around if it no longer functioned. That's all there is to it. Is that all you wanted to ask? I suppose you're right in a way. When you're running a company this big, you need to prioritize efficiency above all else. Sometimes that means cutting things out of your life that are important to you for the sake of the big picture. I can see that. Whether that's the right attitude to take, I don't know, and that's not for me to decide anyways. But know that if you can't take care of the things that matter most to you, and you feel the need to toss them aside, then I'll be there to pick those things up and look after them in your place. I see. Your naivete doesn't appear to have faded any since we last spoke, but I can't say that comes as any surprise. I give you credit for showing your beliefs with actions over simple words, Elisa. Mother, don't- I don't- Dalton, get the car ready to depart. I'll be leaving in two minutes. As you wish, Madame Chairman. I had no intention of keeping it around as long as it was broken. But if you fixed it, I may as well take it off your hands. Here's your reward. You deserve one for the effort you put into this. Oh, did he... Oh. some reason I almost thought, like, oh, did he make two? And she gets one of her own? No, but no, we get a quartz. As happy as I should be about that, no. I swear, I wanted another pocket watch. It was nice, but it was a really cool pocket watch. It had a music box. I love music boxes. Mother, wait a minute, I, I haven't fit. Oh, and I'm expecting you to have some more concrete ideas by our next meeting. You're the one who chose to make such a bold proclamation. You must always take responsibility for your words. <laughs> uh. Uh, that's your mother in a nutshell. Must she always be like this? Oh. I see she didn't notice what happens when you set it to go around the other way. treasure. Everything he gave me had to have some unusual trick to it. Well, she's still got a long way to go if she wants to be my successor. But I suppose spending a moment like this now, again, isn't so bad. Oh, that's nice. I'm happy I did that one, definitely. 
And Elisa will never know, of course, until she inherits it one day, when her mother dies. Oh, I'm sure that'll happen at some point. <laughs> okay. Let's get moving again, I guess. I really want, I want a pocket watch like that. That's, that's like a really cool pocket watch. Not just because of uh, the features it has, but the engineering aspect to it. I am a mechanical engineer, if people have not figured that out by now. I have said that multiple times in this series, even, I think. So, yeah. So, yeah, that sort of thing really does, uh... That, that sort of thing is pretty cool to me. And I like music boxes just in general. Music boxes are really cool. Uh, I didn't mention in this series, but um, I've said in other ones, where on my things that are cool list, music boxes are one of them. It's not a long list, and music boxes are pretty cool. Oh, shit. Yeah, this seems bad. We are out on the highway when the fog suddenly thickens and we are surrounded by monsters. Fortunately, we barely managed to escape with our lives. Had it not been for the children's timely appearance, I doubt we would have been so lucky. Ah, on the other hand, I'm glad to be alive. It's an ego-shattering reminder of my inexperience. Damn. Okay. You okay, Pero? Apparently he's okay. Yo, who? Yo, yo, yo! What is up? Apologies for the delay in coming, Claus. It's good to see you again, too, Miles. Well, if it isn't, if it isn't Class Seven. Thank you very much for coming, my lady. I assume you come regarding the quest we sent to the nonsense. That's right. We made mention of the problems we face in the Grom becoming worse of late. Would you mind elaborating, Claus? Certainly. You're well, well, a number of strange concerts have been happening in the ground since the war began. The fog covering the town has become thicker. Strange monsters have appeared on the highway, among other things. We were up against that kind of stuff when we came here to find Laura and Emma a few weeks back, so yeah. But we didn't... Didn't we solve the worst of it? The cryptids in the castle were the ones responsible. We were able to return things to normal by defeating them, or so I thought. Oh, well, yeah, you certainly helped, sadly. Even without the script is accelerating the process, things here have been gradually worsening. The monsters have become more dangerous than ever. We even have reports of people hearing eerie laughter and seeing ghosts. Outside the greatest concern of all is this thick fog. It's become thicker and thicker over the weeks. It's to the point where it's stopping the towns from doing basic daily tasks. That's not good. Visibility is pretty poor outside. Yep, almost tripped a few times on the way here. Well, we knew something had to be done, so we started looking into ways to return things to normal. And then the other night, something else strange happened. Something else? We heard the sound of a bell ringing. Bell. That's really bad. From Lowen Green Castle, no less. Again? Wait, did the original time did have did it have the bell ringing the original time, or was that just the old schoolhouse that we've heard that from? Hmm, that sounds just like what happened during a field study. So I guess it did happen in the original time. Okay, how could this be? So once again, Lone New Castle is the center of a strange happening for all the fair de Grom. I only wish it wasn't. I only wish it wasn't the case. And we're still, we've no one local free enough to investigate the matter. As the law says, originally we didn't have some. Original. Ordinarily, we have some braces to take care of it, but we just don't have enough of them to go around. Even Tova is occupied in Western Erebonia, as you know. And that's where you come in, Class 7. With two mysteries solved relating to the castle under your belt, you're most likely the perfect ones to take on the job. I see. Understandable, I suppose. Still, I feel this would be no easy task. There's bound to be danger lurking within. That, even with that in mind, would we trouble you to accept our request? And yeah, of course, no problem. No problem, I'll leave it to us. My father is the lord of this region. I'd be remiss to ignore this people's cries for help. I'll do all I can to help in Father's uh, absence. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd say that. I am most grateful for your help. I'll see to preparing a boat for you to take you there at once. Please come to the wharf as soon as you're ready to depart. We'll be right there, Claus. Thank you. A lot of strange happenings here. Don't you think there'd be uh, it'd be best to Selena I would be part of the team? Uh, I guess so. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I'm keeping everyone all, uh, along for story reasons at the moment, anyways, because of the quest. Are you ready to make your way to the castle then? 
No telling what could lie in wait within its walls. Be sure you are prepared for any eventuality. Okay, no, I'm, I'm good. We're ready. Please watch over the town while we're awake, laws. We shouldn't be long. Go forth with the greatest of luck, everyone. We're going to need to be careful on our way here. Or on the way there. We won't be able to see our hands in front of our faces. They swiftly made their way towards uh, Lone Green Castle. Despite the extra task of battling poor visibility due to the fog, Laura graciously accepted the role of operating the boat. Though Laura was the local of Legram, they mainly relied on Emma, sensing its mana, to guide them in the correct direction. Hmm, well, we've arrived. This is my third time coming here. Oh my. Is it different? Doesn't really look different. It's snowing a little bit. No, oh, no, that's just like. The fog's really thick this time, too. Yeah, even more so than it was back in town. The atmosphere here is anything but usual, at the very least. I can sense a vastly greater amount of mana from, uh, uh, from here compared to the last time. It's as though this area is on the verge of becoming a world of its own. Mm, there's no question. The castle is the source of be uh, behind what's happening in the, uh, over in the Grum. There's no telling what could happen if we leave things as they are. Well, then it's up to us to get inside and investigate. You guys ready? Yeah! But we're not gonna have one of those ear piercing, like, everyone screams, Yeah! Right! Okay, here we are. Hmm, it's just acting up again, I presume. This isn't good. Ah, uh, well, I can't say I didn't expect this, at least. Well, that doesn't seem like a... What's that? Oh, you weren't here last time, were you? A formless monster? They look like the fiends we saw during our field study. Yeah, they do. One around every corner by the looks of it. Hmm. I can feel the presence of higher elements, too. My guess is that the source of all this mana would be the underground area of the castle. Didn't we go through that, uh... Didn't we go there through the left wing of the building last time? Where's this large sealed door in the spiral staircase, I think? Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's get going, but be careful. I'm sure the cause of this is somewhere in here. Hmm. This area is the source of the mana you've been sensing, Emma. Yeah, this still looks a lot like one of the areas in the shrine. Yes, I'm sure of it. I could feel it more and more strongly as we walked down the stairs. Hmm, I can see an orb like the one we found during. Uh, I can see an orb like the one we found during a field study, though. What was that? Was that a bell chiming? Get ready for a fight. The spiritual force I feel now is unbelievable. Are we gonna fight the thing again? Or is he gonna be something new? Yeah, that looks like the thing we fought the last time. Hmm. I think we can take it. What is that? Why am I here? It's monstrous. Isn't this a fiend we fought during our field study? It's that Nosferatu. It's revived and become even more powerful than before. This has to be because of the disturbances of this, uh, in this area's spirit veins. I'm sure of it. So, and this is the corporate behind the thick fog ailing the Kram. Which means there's but one thing for us to do. Exercise it. Time to take it down. I don't remember the strategy last time. It's been a while. I'm trying to remember if this was a difficult fight in the first game or not. Watch out! My turn! Let's see. Oh yeah. Definitely want to use silver. And black. Okay. Hmm. Well that brought down their movement and stuff at least. Uh, too slow. Hmm. Interesting. Now. Let's get this over with. Hmm. Still whittling him down a little bit. That wasn't that much better than Reen, honestly. Ooh, this is why I wanted to mute them, but I guess not. Oh, I remember fuck. Fuck. Oh, I forgot about. Mm. Let me help. <laughs> Thanks. 
Hmm. I wasn't I'm strong. Okay. Before. Here I go. Okay. This is currently not for the best. Oh. Fuck. I'm sorry, everyone. Okay. A worthy adversary. So realistically, the biggest problem at the moment is the ads. Let's move. This, I think so. Sorry, um, I'll move. take it yeah. from here. We definitely want to crush it, shall the group? Yeah, I'm not shocked that she does I can that. Do this. Hmm. Cross crusade. Oh no, that probably wouldn't be for the best. Oh, I never voted. Ah! Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. You can use physical attacks because you can't use your other stuff. Oh boy. Okay. This shouldn't be amazing against the main guy, but will this hit uh, them hard? I didn't check their efficacy. It hit them hard. That's good. You have my Thank you very much. Not quite there to take it out entirely, but... Yeah, at least she gets her stuff back. Oh, and she lost her fucking... Ah! Fucking hell. I can impede. Turn to flame! Okay, I can hit no both escape. of them with this, so that's Save! probably what I want to do. No, no! My turn. Miss. Always the fucking... Miss. Eliminating well, target. Them, so let's do this. No problem. <sighs> Arcus, activate. Please be reflected. Please be reflected. Damn it. My turn. Um, this one, how? Uh, stat down was the main one that I'd be able to do against it. Okay. Okay. For now, let's, um... No, I can't get... Fuck. Um... Uh, da 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 Miss Ray. Huh? Okay, she'll die again this next turn. Oh, Leave this to close. me! It's getting way too close for comfort. No escape! My turn. Okay. Well, that's um, that's a good situation at the moment. Enough damage. I know you had to. Uh, I'm pretty sure the strategy was to take out enough um, damage on it. Yeah, until it released her. Basically, the other option was her being released by basically dying. I know. I remember that. I remember that. My turn. Okay, this has become much more Shatter! manageable now that I'm taking care of the ads a bit better this time. Now's our chance. Go for three. Leave it to okay, me. I should be able to bring him down most of the rest of the way now. Well, that wasn't nearly as effective as I was hoping. Um, that's not nearly as effective as I was hoping. <laughs> that was okay. Crystal flood. I guess. Now. Makes me think that. I mean, after that to 13,000, I sort of expected Crystal Flood to do something like 10,000. Something closer to- Oh, no. No, no, no. Not Elliot. No! No. God damn it. Here I go! That's such an annoying move. Especially after he does that. Okay, well, I guess the best way to do this is go all out in terms of, uh, damage. You know, actually, for her, I should probably... Crushing. I should probably crush and shell off of her. Leave this to me. Basically, that was the thought that came to mind. Arcus, activate. Behold the 
Oh, did I not get the? Oh, I thought I was gonna get the ads in it. I thought I was gonna get the ads in it. My bad. That actually defeat the purpose of me doing that in the first place. Okay, that's not good. Hang in there. You have my thanks. I'm. I'm this is definitely not good. Everyone. Okay. Hmm. I won't lose. Sorry. <laughs> Would you mind? I've got this. Ah. Always. I don't want her. I need her to bring back Elliot. No. 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 Fuck. I wasn't strong I enough. Bring back her too now. Okay. Do not. Do no. 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 Do not. Do not. Okay. Now that below. Here I go. Ooh, okay. That's good. Okay, I thought it might be able to do that. Here I go. It's a bet on delay. Here I go. Okay. Still need to. Fuck. Can I do him? Can I do enough damage? Burn oh. to ash. No use in not Fall. trying at this point. Not enough. And that might be enough to take. Right. Okay, slow. thank goodness, miss. Okay. Let's move. Okay. Come on, let's get Emma out of there. Let's move. On. Fuck. How has it not been enough yet? Okay. Sorry. We'll do. Okay, well, someone's gotta live, so. Oh, I see him, so that's. My turn. He's not dead yet. Why? I'm sorry, everyone. And now she's. I'll dead. handle it. Okay. Okay. Oh well, well, I don't really care about experience that much, anyways. Not at this point. I'll handle it. My turn. How much do we have left? Hmm. Not, a qu uh, not quite enough for me to finish it off as is. Good luck. I'll handle this. Oh, I don't want him to attack, so... I just wanted to... This. Okay, well. Yeah. That was a little closer than I would hope it would be. Um, that was closer than I hope it would be. <laughs> that takes care of them. It definitely felt like a different sort of strategy that I needed to implement. A lot of the strategies in this game, this one, in comparison to the first one, it, feel, it felt like. That really felt distinctly different. I wonder if they had different, like, battle designers, like, encounter designers for the bosses in this one than the first game. It felt like they took a different approach for that one. Or maybe they decided to design it differently. I don't know. That's a chance to... Okay. That's good. this this didn't happen did this happen the first time there was a blue orb the first time wait what huh wait what this bring now to bear thy will For thou hast ought thou was Is that supposed to be? Is that like supposed to be Draco's memories again? What was that like? I don't 
don't know. But no one, uh, no one here appears to have been uh, any worse for wear because of it. What happened to that fiend, though? Spiritual force that was exerting has completely vanished. And with it, the spirit vein seems to be returning to normal. Uh, I feared the worst was uh, feared the worst for a moment, but it looks like all's well that ends well. This should hopefully mark the end of all the strange happenings in Lagram. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without everyone here either. Thank you. Anything for you, Laura. Hmm. Hey, is something wrong? You've been totally silent. Did you get injured? Oh no, it's nothing, honestly. Let's just get back to Legram and report to Cabal's and Miles. Of course. <laughs>